Welcome back, Irish fans, to UND.com's exclusive daily coverage of spring practice 2012 for the Fighting Irish football team. I'm Jack Nolan coming to you once again from the Labar practice complex where behind me the Irish are wrapping up their second practice of the spring. As you can see, again, helmets, the only protective gear they were allowed to wear today under NCAA rules, but they will be putting on those pads tomorrow. And the weather still remains terrific for March. Overnight rains did cool the temperatures down a little bit from the 80 degree temperature temperatures we've had for more than a week but temperature today when the Irish are out here on the field practicing in the 60s still terrific football weather During our second practice report of the spring, we thought we would concentrate on a position that is loaded with returning starters and has more upperclassmen on the field than any other position on defense, the linebackers. Go to your left. Back up, give them space. Read the crown of the helmet. It goes to your right, step with the right. Strike. Say, hey, knock it back. Good, bend that back. Good. Yes. Good. Good. Right outside back. Right outside back. Sky, sky. Get in there. Good. Now we're going to do your arm. Oh, Put him on. Heavy, violent. Strike. Right. Feel cable lockout. Good. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Good. Don't, don't break too soon. Man. I'll go back the other way and punish you when we go to 200 level here in a minute. Hey. Nice job, Joey. 200 level. Hey. Nice. With, with Manti and, and Carlo and Dan Fox coming back and Prince, they've got a lot of reps underneath them. And then there's another layer there of guys that have trained hard and gotten some action like uh, Kendall and Dan Spond. Uh, and then some real conscientious young guys that, that have been waiting in the wings but been professional in their preparation. Uh, and that's Ishak and with a, still action in the games but limited uh, grace and counsel. So uh, there's, there's a, uh, and Rabasa, and, and those guys are, are coming on and pushing. So we're pleased. Under Coach Diaco's leadership as defensive coordinator, Notre Dame's defense has shown dramatic improvement in each of his last two seasons, something Diaco expects to continue in 2012. The expectation is that every single player and defensive coach and defensive player is going to improve every day. So we challenge each other to do that as, it, as the day begins in our meetings. Um, there's a, there, there should be a renewed level of intensity mentally and physically. And each player and coach hits the field with uh, their liabilities and understanding them from the day before. We share that information, coach to coach, coach to player, player to player, player back to coach on a daily basis. And we all hit the field with something that needs to be made better. So the, it, the expectation is that it's going to improve. There is no question this year's defense will be led by All-American linebacker Manti Teo, who led the Irish in tackles for a second straight season in 2011. Teo believes the Notre Dame defense is poised to have the best season of his Irish career this fall. You know, we've, we've been great at times. We've been, we've been great in some games. We've been great for three quarters and been great for three and a half quarters, but you know, half a quarter we didn't play great and, you know, it cost us. Um, so just playing four quarters of Notre Dame football, I think, is what we have to focus on. And, you know, we're getting there and, you know, we're all, I, I think we're there. It's just, you know, just a little mental hump we just got to get over. 
The Irish will put on the pads for the first time this spring for tomorrow morning's practice, and we expect to be able to provide you with plenty of interesting and intense video of that practice on our Saturday Notre Dame football spring practice report. Jack Nolan, UND.com.